ladies and gentlemen, I'm Gia, an etiquette consultant based here in Los Angeles. Here's everything you need to know about hosting etiquette, specifically outdoor entertaining. So hosting al fresco provides a sense of fun and informality, as well as the additional ambiance of sights, sounds, and smells of the great outdoors. Stay till the very end to get all the hosting tips. Give this a like to help others have a great time outside with their loved ones. Catering for guests outside requires an even greater level of resourcefulness. However, in the face of unpredictable weather, mother nature, you have to prepare for the weather. Al fresco entertaining can be one of the highlights of the spring, but however favorable the forecast, it's wise to be prepared for all eventualities, including the wind. So if you're entertaining at lunchtime, remember that your guests may not want to bake in full sun. Locate your table in dapple shade under, under a tree Make sure you have parasols or if you have a canopy and spare sun hats. If it's in the evening or the weather, weather is cool, have cozy rugs, woolen wraps, lots of tactile, textiles and spare jumpers at the ready in case guests become chilly and have contingency plan to move indoors if it starts to rain. As for furniture, eating outside doesn't have to mean being uncomfortable. If garden chairs and tables are rickety or stained, think about bringing some indoor furniture outside instead or camping furniture. Ensure that guests have cushions and use tablecloths to disguise any stains and give the table a festive air and more comfy feeling. Lay the table with proper glassware, crockery, and cutlery. If you've got a spare table, set it up outside. It will be useful for serving dishes and holding everything up, wine jugs of water, and will help minimize the number of journeys you have to make back and forth from the kitchen or inside the house. As for lighting, if you're entertaining at night or it turns dark, think carefully about lighting so fairy lights look attractive and strung up on trees or fences, while tea lights in lanterns or battery operated candles will ensure adequate lighting at the table. Here are some easy breezy al fresco menu tips, so don't choose elaborate meals that will involve you dashing back and forth from the kitchen throughout the meal. You'll miss out on all the fun. Create a menu that can be prepared in advance and will need minimal attention once your guests arrive. Make use of fresh, summery, seasonal foods. So here are some summery, seasonal foods. So there is salmon, sea bass, bream, crab, prawns, lamb, salad, new potatoes, strawberries, cherries, and raspberries. Encourage guests to eat as soon as they are served because food cools down more quickly outdoors. And remember, if you're eating outside, you'll crave stronger flavors. So consider using strong marinades and sauces with meat or fish. Don't stand on ceremony down dining outside. It's always going to feel more relaxed and guests will enjoy serving themselves. If you have any hosting ideas or tips that you love to use personally, let us know in the comments below. Same goes for questions if you have any. I'd be more than thrilled to answer them. Subscribe for more etiquette tips and modern manners. Check out my hosting playlist link below. Thank you so much for watching.